As a web designer, I've been using Midjourney a lot to generate great assets for my web design. But a few weeks ago, I've actually started to use Freepik's Picasso suite of AI image generation tool. And I found out I've actually stopped using Midjourney completely. And so in this video, I wanna share the reasons and my new workflows. This is not a sponsored video. I'm sharing this because I'm really excited about this tool and I want you to check it out yourself. So let's get started. The first reason, and that might be the most crucial reason of all, is speed, how fast it takes to generate images. I wanna give you a demo. If you've been using Midjourney, you know you have to wait like 60 seconds to get four options, and Freepik just gives you much more options, much faster, and let's, let's actually do a demo. So let's say I'm designing a website for uh, a company that has an app for rock climbing, okay? So the image that I want is I want an iPhone placed on a rock in a studio with purple background, Let's say it's a product shot. So I'm gonna input that into mid-journey. And now I basically have to wait a minute. You can see 10% complete, 20% complete. We're gonna run this forward because it actually takes a lot of time. Okay, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. That takes a lot of time. It's been like a minute. Okay, and a minute is up and I've got four images. The images look great. That's pretty much what I wanted. Now let's head back into free pick and I'm gonna try to do the same prompt exactly. An iPhone on a rock in a studio background product shot create. And now we're not fast forwarding anything. And let's just count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so about seven seconds instead of one minute. And it's not just four images. Check out how many images we have here. Now there are, there's much more diversity in what's going on here. Now, maybe not a lot of them are exactly what I was looking for, but I have so much more option. And check this out, I'm scrolling and it's being generated more and more images. So it's about six times, if not more faster. And the number of options that I'm getting here is just phenomenal. And if one of the image fits what I need, like this one, for example, I could just hit more like this. And again, in a matter of seconds, I can have more and more options of images that look exactly like I need them. The second reason is how we're doing fine tuning. Now in general, in mid journey, if you want to fine tune your prompt, you do have these settings that you can change stylization, weirdness, you can change the, uh, you know, the, the composition of the image and the model, but that's pretty much it. If now you want to say, okay, I want this to have a different kind of lighting. If I want to have a different uh, style of the image, I basically have to change the prompt, right, myself. And I'm not even sure what kind of options I have. I have to be really, really creative to use this. But in Freepik, if I wanna take this image or if I actually want to change the prompt, note the UI that I have here on the left side. I basically have styles. So I can choose from photo, cartoon, 3D, uh, watercolor, surreal, and then let's click that and let's go to color. So I have many different uh, options here for the colors. I don't know, let's do... Uh, burgundy and blue. And then camera, like what options do I have? Fisheye, cinematic, what lighting setups do I have? So golden hour, incandescence. I've got a lot of options here. I don't have to imagine them. I can just pick them from a UI, and just hit create. And it's much, much easier to go ahead and fine tune what you're looking for. And check this out. I'm getting some really, really cool things here that I can go ahead and use. So that is the second reason. The third reason is upscaling. So in general, you can go into mid journey, you can click that image and you can upscale it, right? You can upscale it either subtle or creative. But honestly, and if you've been watching my previous workflow, I haven't been using mid journey to upscale the images. I've actually used Magnific, which was a more AI based upscaler that really editing the details and made the images look really, really great. So previously, I actually needed two tools in my workflow. I needed both Midjourney and Magnific to do this. But in Freepik, what I actually have is I actually have an upscaler right inside the tool. So I can click the upscaler and I can basically go ahead and upscale the image right from here. And you can see this is stuff that I've had previously. You can see that it really not only improves the quality, but also generate a lot, a lot of great details. 
And the funny thing is that Freepik just actually acquired Magnific. So if you're familiar with Magnific and know how amazing this upscaler is, now you're gonna get it for the same price inside of Freepik, which for me, just that is the reason. Pay for one tool instead of paying for two tools. That is an amazing, amazing reason. The fourth and last reason is that Freepik offers here more creative tools for generating the image. For example, they have this sketch to image. So I can go ahead and let's actually uh, change the prompt to the prompt that we were using, iPhone on a rock. And let's go ahead and uh, take a color. Let's take a purple color. Let's try to, what I can do right now is I can go ahead and I can paint the scene and the composition that I want. So for example, let's go ahead and uh, let's do opacity of 100. Let's actually go ahead and draw the scene that I wanted, right? So purple background, uh, let's very quickly do this. Actually, you know what? Let's clear everything. Let's do this right now. Okay, so purple background, very fast. What you, what you can see on the right side is that it's trying to generate the image based on the sketch that I have here, right? What I want is purple background, now let's take like a rocky rock. So let me do this uh, brown, something like this, and brush size. Let's do the rock, something like this. This is going to be my rock. And on it, I'm going to have my iPhone. So I'm going to do, it's gonna stand here like this, something like this. And you can see immediately on the right side that I'm getting the image that I wanted. Let's say I want a little bit of plants coming out of the rock. So I can do these little ch -ch -ch, with little leaves here, maybe like this, ch -ch -ch, little flowers coming up. And let's see if it's creating this. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Well, it's not really creating the, the grassy plants here, but in general, you can see what I wanna do here. I can go ahead and paint the picture as I want it, and then I can go ahead and create variations of this and go ahead and upscale this and continue working from my initial sketch. And that is a much more creative workflow to allow me to draw my composition and add more stuff instead of just using a prompt. So those are my reasons, that's my current workflow, and I'm very excited for you to actually give this a try. I've actually contacted the FreePick team to allow you to give this a try for free. So we have, for a limited time only, coupons for you to try this tool for free for a little bit. I hope you're excited about this as I am. Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.